You are listening to the Cigar Noise Boys. Boys. Mama put a little money in the mattress, taught me how to make a silver spoon out of plastic. You can either sink, swim, or be the captain. Get the last word, I'm going to get the laugh, last laugh in. Uh, that sounds like insane clown posse. No. Now they say in, <laughs> well, now they say blank, blank because that's the artist. Why are you dressing so classic? I don't want my best dressed day in a casket. Uh, dude, I don't know, man. It's a good one. Long Live the Chief by Jadena. By who? Jadena. Who the hell's that? Never heard of that. Uh, just if you watched Luke Cage, it was in the first season. Mm. Long Live the Chief. It's a good song. What's up, everybody? Cigar Noise Boys. What up? What up? <laughs> um, Dom Tyler. And I think we might, may or may not have Drew, also known as Refined Southern on Instagram, on the show. Uh, he's running a little bit late, and uh, Tyler has to get to work, so we're we're starring just a duo. Might make it a trio. We'll see. We'll see. How, we'll see how the night goes. You know, we'll, we'll uh, you know uh, see how it works out. But um, yeah. you're not smoking anything. You never smoke. Um, I'm smoking the warped Florida Val, the Sky Flower. Ooh, I I really like the new one that's in my shop. They're the new batch. Um, I've tried the and the other one. No, the Sky Flower. What's the one that um the torpedo that came out or Bellicosa that came out with? La Clemena? No, um, it's made it's made in Nicaragua too by Tapsa. Uh, uh crap! I forgot what it's called. By Warps? But, yeah, it just came out. Um, I wonder if it's in the small batch. I didn't, they didn't have anything new at the show, did they? Yeah, they well, they had re-releases. Yeah, well, that doesn't uh, count. That's fake. Oh, dude, speaking of small batch, man, if you're part of the... F- and this is... Okay, this isn't spoiler alert territory because you've already had them for probably a few days, but the small batch $50 um, Cigar of the Month Club was awesome this year. We got a Sky Flower which I'm not smoking. I'm smoking the one out of our humidor at like Country Cigars. Uh, you got a Pappy Van Winkle Churchill. You got a Diamond Crown Black Diamond. And you also got um, the Illusione um, Singulares, the Seven Horns, which I heard is really good. So you got five good sticks valued at like 80 to 90 bucks for $50 shipped with a Boveda pack. Um, if Boveda. Small bit. Oh, yeah, Boveda. Yeah. So my thing is, if, you know, support your local brick and mortars like, like Country Cigars located conveniently right off the interstate in Delafield, Wisconsin, or Ooh. check out Small Batch uh, if um, there's not a brick and mortar close to you. But um, I, I'm a big fan of Small Batch. Same. Also, uh, just want to say apologies. Anyone last week that tried to listen, my mic was turned up to 11. Uh, I'm just, I get upset that Tyler talks so much. So my hubris got the best of me. Yep. But not this week. This week you got your swag turned up to 11 though. Ooh, thanks. Yeah. My and yeah, I do. And you ignored my call yesterday. I, you never called me. Okay. Well, anyways, I I, I did. Did you, did you call me from a different number? No, was I it called in you class when I'm teaching because I'm not going to answer. No, it was later in the day. There's, I called you. I'm Time looking out. right now. I'm looking right now at my recent calls. I called you at seven thirty six yesterday, p.m. Uh, our time. So it might have been five thirty six your time. I don't know how to see. But that. I got a call from my girlfriend. I don't. <laughs> I don't think you're my girlfriend. Do you have her phone? Well, we we weren't gonna announce that. Um, Is she in the truck? No, uh, <laughs> yeah, no, it was, she was in the, yeah, seven thirty six p.m. Um, I'll have to send you a screenshot of it. But I was talking to a a listener. Um, this guy has one of the best collections of cigars I've ever seen. I met him at the trade show. He was working. You might know him. He was working Leaf by Oscar's booth. Uh, he's a consumer. Okay. And. Uh, 
He his name is uh, Christopher J. Brown, Chris Brown. He was um, uh, he sent me a message. He's at La Zona Palooza down in Florida. Ooh, a and smokini. You son of a bitch. She's and, there. Yeah. And so this is what Chris says. Um, hey, buddy, I'm at La Zona Palooza in Miami, and Smokini is here. I was oh. telling her about. I was telling her about your podcast since you and Dom keep mentioning her. Oh man! And I said, "LOL, that's Dom, not me." Oh come on, dude! I haven't mentioned her once. You're a creep, anyways. And I said, "Dude, I'm jealous. Have a good." Yeah, I said, "I'm jealous. Have fun down there." She was very interested, but I told her it wasn't creepy or anything. (laughs) LOL. Oh, I don't know if you sold it correctly. Yeah. Um. So it. Um. Yeah, so I just told him, hey, thanks for listening, and say hi to Juan Cancel and uh, Coop, Cigar Coop, because they're down there too. Uh, and he says he's a, he's a fan of the, the podcast. He's also a, a fan of Salt and the Smoke, and he likes the kind of um, style we do it in. So I appreciate that, Chris, especially coming from you, man. You've been – he's one of those mega nerds, mega collectors. Um, he's been spoken – he's – Dude looks like he's my age, but he's he's been smoking for like 25 years. No, maybe not 20, but like 20 years. He's an electrician. Um, out, uh, he's out in the East Coast, but he's got a hell of a collection, man. Nice. So, uh, uh, so thank you for listening. Yeah. So our podcast, we don't have any video um, that we put out, but uh, I can see because we record on Skype. You have a little change in not wardrobe, but uh, your hair's gone. Yeah, I shaved it. But here's the thing. My hair grows really, really fast. So um, probably in about two weeks, I'll have a little uh, a little, stubble. A little, a little buzz. Yeah, because like, I shaved it almost all the way down. It's already really in that – it's in that really fluffy, nice like stage. I'm, I'm asking everybody at work if they want to touch it, if they want – you know. So it's, in, <laughs> it's in that good state. Hey, you, um, you want to touch it? And Oh, I do want to give another shout-out to – there's a um, group of gentlemen – who um, uh, I was pretty good friends with, actually really good friends with, and um, we hung, we met at the other shop, and they've been coming out here at the new shop I work at. A um, few of them are locker members now, and they all listen to um, the podcast, which is, and they're not, they're cigar smokers, and guys, uh, Brian, Brandon, Tim, Ron. Um, Those are that's fake not a, names. No, no, it's not a slight at you guys. I'm just saying. You guys don't geek out, so I appreciate you guys listening to the podcast. And I know Tim, um, you were really upset about Dom shit Mike last week, um, but we, he he did apologize. And but I do appreciate you guys um, coming out and or, well, I mean, well, besides coming out to the shop, but also supporting the podcast and listening to it. I really do appreciate that, can, guys. Can I take back my apology though? Because I I have no way of telling if my mic is too loud. Your ears should be blowing up. Well, it's not, and it didn't. Okay. Well. Oh, whatever. I got I got a quick story for you. Um, so I've been working on the owner here of bringing in Viaje, which I might be the only guy left who's a big Viaje guy. And uh, so I called him on Monday. I talked to him and say, Hey, I worked at another shop. I used to carry it. The manager got rid of it. I left the shop. Um, we, I'm interested in bringing it back in. He's like, oh, yeah, cool. I'll send me your information. This is on Monday. Um, so today I call. I'm like, yeah, I'm just checking on the status to see if you got all the paperwork. He's like, what's the shop name? Like, Lake Country Cigars. He's like, oh, are you Matt? Are you Matthew? I'm like, no, I'm, um, Matthew's my boss. He's the owner. Uh, I work there. He's like, okay, well, um, should I be talking to Matt or you? I'm like, well, uh, Let's see. I called you. Um, I had Matt fill the paperwork. I explained to Matt how you guys work. Um, yeah, I get it. I don't have some fucking fancy title, but um, I work at the shop, and I'm not just a fucking ring up your cigar and that's it, you know. But it's just like just the way it wasn't Andre. Andre's a good dude. Andre Farkas. I don't know who it was, but. Well, should I be talking to Matt? Well, I'm talking to you, bro. I, I'm the one who's been working on trying to get you. You know, it's like, whatever. So who knows? I'm not. I'm not following up because I was kind of upset about that. Yeah. You know, sucks. But yeah. But I mean, um, 
I am a VI fan. Did you? And here I go rambling on. Last Rambling question. On. <laughs> Last question. Yeah. Uh, you see that new HVC 500 Dude, years? Dude, I, I have that in my notes. I was going to ask you about that. Yeah. Uh, so apparently the we used to be a house account for HVC because we were one of the first five um, HVC accounts. So the, he had a broker. I'm really good friends with Brico, and he's no longer the broker for HVC. But um, a former co, a former guy who worked here, Mikey, Mikey, you know Mikey, he was on the podcast episode two or three. Uh, we we he, might have um deleted that because <laughs> I oh, think we're yeah. talking we, about my students. And I don't know if my students found this or not. <laughs> all right, so uh, Mikey, we'll get you back on the pod. Sorry. But um, so Mikey works for a, a tobacco distributor, and he also has exclusive con um, contracts with certain companies, HVC being one, Southern uh, uh, HVC, AJ Fernandez, and Espinosa. So I texted Mikey, hey, are we getting the 500? H and he hasn't responded back to me, so thanks a lot for nothing. And then they released today that they got a new Black Friday coming out. Um, you know, they come out with the Black Friday every year. This mm -hmm. one's got like a, it's called like a cafe wrapper. I've never even freaking heard of it. So I'm really excited about the, uh, the, um, Black Friday. When I hear so. cafe wrapper, I think of, was it the cafe by nub? Mm-hmm. Uh, yeah. I don't know. Rainier's good dude. And... I, I was hoping you'd smoked one of those though. HBC I wish. Cause I, it's on small batch and I'm just, I'm trigger happy. I just got paid today. But I spent like, I spent way too much uh, when I got my last paycheck. So this is the cycle where I'm supposed to save up and then in a month I'll spend more. Um, but how do you feel about them naming it HVC 500? Um, I, I mean, they explain a, it. It's like 500 yeah. years. Uh, was it Hab um, Havana? Yeah. I mean, he's a big fan. You know, he's from Cuba and it's... That's what HVC is, Havana City. So, I mean, it's different. I mean, everybody's celebrating, you know, I mean, what do you think of a Black Friday cigar? I mean, there's all these other holiday cigars. I think Black Friday, but it's a, the cover wrapper of the Black Friday is a Habano Cafe wrapper. Only 400 boxes, 50 count caps. But uh, I think what I don't like, I don't like the box design. As a retailer, a box, 15 cigars across one single row. Um, looks cool, but... Um. Yeah. So. Oh, and we would like to wish a happy birthday to, um, um, uh, one of our good friends, Mukha Rich. He turned twenty-eight. No, I don't know how old he is. He looked <laughs> young though. But his birthday was yesterday, so he's coming out to the shop tomorrow. We're gonna hang out. He has more hair than you and me combined. Yeah. Well, me by choice. You. Um. Genetics. Genetics. Yeah. Yeah. That's how it rolls. That's how the cookie crumbles. Mm-hmm. Um, oh, speak. Okay. Speaking of cigars we've seen. Yeah. Uh, I think Refined Southerner are, are, he's, might be on later on. Maybe we could talk to him about it. He'll, he'll, be, but, our, uh, he'll be our first call-in. Yeah, I can't wait, man. And then um, uh, V Cut Everything, they were at that foundation release event of the, the Grasshopper. Woo! That. That's the, exciting, man. I want the inside scoop. I want to know if people at the event knew about it and if they were hyped or if it was like a You're surprise. Right. Well, they, they they teased it, but, I mean, how many people are on Instagram, you know, That's like Motox, I mean. Motox Bona SOS? Yeah. The typical lounge dude, you know, isn't. So, uh, but I think it's a really cool um, uh, concept. You know, you have two of the San Andreas, two of the Candela, and then one barber pole. So you can kind of see what happens when you merge the two. I think it's a really cool idea. Yeah. Uh, Nick Nick's doing some fucking awesome shit. I was wondering what he was going to do because the Menelix, um, when they were uh, – uh-oh, is that him? The Menelix were really good when they uh, were the event-only cigar. They were hard to get, like super fucking hard to get. Like the foundation rep, I had I gave him one. That was the first time he had it. So, look at you. Yeah. Um, oh, well, while we're waiting for him, we can give a shout out to our sponsor, 
uh, Cigar Noise. Um, obviously, our sponsor because we are the Cigar Noise Boys. So, Dave West, uh, I just missed you out in California. Um, but, uh, dude, that interview you did with the Small Batch crew was awesome. The interview you did with Nick Melillo was awesome. So keep uh, keep up the good work, man, and check out Cigar Noise. They got an app. They got a website. And I went through and watched a bunch of old videos with um, Sean and Rich and Dom. Dom doing the uh, – I finally saw the hunting video with the 50 cal. That was dumb. Uh, that was pretty funny. Um, yeah, so that was cool. Thanks. Uh, yeah. I don't want to waste any questions on you. No, that's fine, man. Um, I'll just talk about what I smoked this week. Yeah. Was... Uh, so I Edison Compromiso, which was, I think, my favorite release from last year. Uh, but this one, I don't know if it was like halfway through. I started getting a weird feeling on my mouth like the wrapper was exuding something chemically. Oh. So I don't know if that was... Just a, a fluke. I don't know if you've had that experience. Oh it, my lord! This is the uh, first one that I've had that kind of give me a weird mouth, like a like when you like have, tar, like bad chapstick, and then you go to smoke a cigar. Oh, did you hear the story about the the rapper on that, the San Andreas uh, Negrito rapper? What he did? Um, did he put some oil on it? No, he. So there are these water these these melons in Japan that they grow. I'm into melons. And, and what they do, yeah, but well, you made that perfectly clear. And what they do is, you know, usually and I I could be getting this all wrong, but on a vine where they have they grow the melons, usually they can grow like 18. Well, what they do is they get rid of 16 of them and just grow two of them. And so then all those two melons, they're really expensive, but they get all the nutrients. They get all the flavor, they get all the sunlight, they get all everything, but they're they're really expensive and they're flavorful. So Steve does that with the with the San Andreas is what he he picks off all the bottom leaves and leave the top leaf, and then um, so it's really expensive. And then he's like, and then he told I asked him like, well, can you? I mean, is it? Can you tell that much by it? And he's like, yeah. He's like, I could pick out which one was that method. And which one was the other method, the method where you leave everything on versus the method where you take everything off and just leave a couple of leaves up there. Take it all and, off. Yeah, and then I saw a video about these melons on you, on Facebook, and I commented, uh, I tagged Steve Saka in it, and Steve's like, see, I'm not fucking crazy. <laughs> you know, so I thought that was pretty funny. That and I like that Steve actually, I mean, we did an event with Steve at my other shop back in May, and he sat, we closed at midnight, he hung out with us till about 12:20. He was sitting in his truck until like 1 a.m., 1:30 a.m., commenting on everybody's Instagram. Um, I mean, that dude is—he's. It's not like he has some. You know, it's not like his son's doing it. Steve is sitting there writing every personalized message. I think he has one of the best presences just because of that interaction. Like he was—he was tagged in our uh, Cigar Noise Boys Instagram post. By um, was it Pearl Sabor? What's their Instagram handle? Mm. It's uh, it's like Nika Fest. Nika Fest, I think. Yeah, they're they, they're tagging me and everything too. Yeah, they good on them. Whoever they have on Instagram, but tagged him Sokka, and he replied. So that was that was sick. Yeah, what did he say? Oh, the the um, Cowboys look good, and I said not as good as the Sin Compromiso. I would be a little suck up, you know yeah, what I'm saying? Yeah. Oh yeah, Nick uh, Nika Cigar Fest, excelente, uh, and then tag Saka. Is that nice. is that going on the same weekend as that other uh, tobacco event in Vegas? I don't think so. Oh, the TPE. Yeah, isn't that in January? Yeah, that's in January. Um, but hey, I want to see if you wanted to go to Honduras with me in February or January. You can't January, go. January. Dude, oh, school. why, I, uh, yeah, probably not during a weekday. I well, mean, they it's not have worth going for a weekend, is it? Because I'd like to stay down there and. You don't want to stay in 
no, no, no comment. But I want to invite, or no, I want to have Rich send his typewriter to me so I can take notes. So, yeah, January of 2020, uh, the 19th through the 22nd, oh, Sunday through a Wednesday. And then they got a Wednesday through a Saturday. And then February, they got it um, Sunday through Wednesday, Wednesday through Saturday. So mm, I'd have to uh, rebel. Actually, in February, no, I'm looking at December. Uh, we'll maybe, just have to. Know. We'll have to go to Nicaragua on our own, which I'm going, I think, either the first or second week of December. Yeah. All right. Well, I need it. That's why I'll, I'll save up with one of those trips in mind. So you're going to Honduras? No, I'm going to – well, I thought about going to Honduras because this is a GRE factory tour I went last year. Okay. It was awesome. Um, but I'm going to Esteli or Nicaragua in December with I'm, Mo. I'm trying to get my my best friend from college. He has, I think, an aunt or relative in Costa Rica. And I think he's going there over summer. And I really want to check that out because isn't that where um, Byron? Listening... Yeah, the, I was listening to the um, the TLE, the Lounge Experience. Great podcast, by the way. Cas Dagley on there. Friend of the program. Um, was it was it Costa Rica where he gets some of his tobacco? Oh no, I'm blanking. Why'd I bring them up? Per no, I'm thinking you're talking about Peruvian. Per maybe. Oh, I don't. You know, I'm an English teacher. I don't. I don't deal. Yeah. With... Um. No, you're not. You're not the nerd. Geography. We all know who the nerd is here. Oh well, I'm, I'm talking to Beth. Yeah, I'm talking tobacco, but. Uh, <laughs> um, that but yeah, same no, factory. Byron. Oh. Byron. A lot of United. They uh. Get there's some tobacco from Costa Rica. What other no, the cigars? Talk, Bro, tell me what's up. I don't. I'm yeah. Speaking of my butt. You make yourself look like a fool. Um, Byron and Atabe. I'm on a hill. Fool on the Bandelier. hill. Makes the. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You look so pissed right now. Fool on the hill makes sees the sun going down. Hand the eyes in is. his head. See the world spinning round. No. No, I'll, I'll we just that. lost our it. five. Uh, so, um, <laughs> Byron Atabe yeah. is rolled in Costa Rica, the same factory that makes M Bombay and uh, a couple other brands. Rolled in Costa Rica. I don't know if I've and said then, this. I'm going to cut you off again. But when I hear M Bombay, I think of that chant from mm, Black Panther. Like at the end, we're like, M Bombay! M Bombay! M Bombay! <laughs> About, yeah, I remember. Right? Can you add uh, Drew into this podcast, guy? Uh, this ain't gonna work, dude. It'll it'll be great. I'll just be like, oh, oh, hold on, we have of calling. You know what we Cut. we need to do? We just we just need to randomly call people. Like, let's call Tyler up right now and see if he'll join. What are the chances? First of all, if he has a phone, yeah, that's great, but. He would have to be plugged in, able to answer in Skype with a mic and everything. There's no, we no could way. just, uh, bro, I'm going to try it. I'm going to try it. What's your name? Say my Who's name, your daddy? Say my name. Is he rich like me? Oh, that's a good one. You got some fun editing to do, my man. Yeah, right. Hey, you're live on the pod. How you doing? <laughs> Hold on, man. Can you hear me? <laughs> yeah, you're, you're you're live on the pod. Oh, I'm live on the pod. Yes, sir. Welcome. What's up, guys? How's it going? Good, man. I'm just driving home from dinner. Nice. Where'd you eat? Um, I forget. Pulachinos. It's a place in West Bend. It's um like an old chef from Gloriosa started this restaurant. It's got like authentic Italian food. You were talking about all kinds of Italian food last night. About cannolis. No. Cannoli is plural. Cannoli? Cannolo okay, I'm, I'm, is one cannoli. Is that true? Yes, I think. <laughs> I don't know if that's true, man. I, I think cannoli, cannolis. Uh, I don't know. Maybe it's, I don't know. Wait, are you Italian? Yeah. He is. Are you north or south? Southern. Sicily? 
Uh, part, I mean, we're from Sicily and from like uh, Calabria. Okay, so I'm, I'm half Sicilian, so then that's, I don't know. Maybe I don't, I didn't check my Carfax. Oh, great. Yeah, I don't know. I think you might be full of shit on that one. Yeah, well, <laughs> but uh, so we, Michael, we call because um, the Cigar Noise Boys would like to um, congratulate you on your marriage and you just got back from your honeymoon two weeks over in Italy. Oh, thanks, guys. I appreciate it. And uh, we also wanted to give your your Instagram and your um, website a shout out. Stogie Journal with a Y. Stogie Journal. He's going to be working on some reviews. He's got a Baca review coming up, I believe. That's in the works, right? Oh, that's in the works. Yeah, that's almost done. That should be done by the end of the weekend. Yeah, you got to get that to me so I can upload it on the site. Absolutely. But I think it's pretty cool that you we just called you and you answered. <laughs> you know, we got my phone on me i got you know people are calling me all the time and when i see tower calls i always try to pick up yeah i feel i feel bad i i missed your um um uh message on facebook yesterday i have i have i have to get your legit number i thought i had it but those i can i get updates i don't always get an update when somebody sends me a message on um a facebook messenger Oh, no worries. Yeah, let me get I think i got your phone number i just always use Ma- i used to use messenger for so many things now but I can okay. switch over to text at any time. Um, what did you think of the Jewish State event last night? It was good, man. I had I got some good deals. I didn't hear the raffles though. Who won? Um, good question. I'm not sure. That was they drew them right when I got in at eight last night, but I didn't see who won. Um, I smoked a box pressed league. Of, that's what we also got in the small batch cigar of the month club. The the small batch. Or no, the Liga provided number nine box press. That was really good. Um, I, you know what I started my night with last night? The Dunbar's what? famous smoke shop, 80th. Ooh, how was that? Did you know what, man? I so I just started keto um, uh-huh. earlier this week, um, and I think that, and I heard from a couple people that when you start it, when your body first goes into ketosis, that your palate can get fucked up. And I smoked maybe, I don't know, seven cigars the last two days, and I haven't liked any of them. And I smoke cigars I usually like. Like, I smoked, so last night I smoked um, a T-52, um, the Dunbarton cigar. Uh, what else did I smoke yesterday? Yesterday in the morning I smoked a couple of, I can't remember what the sticks were. And then today I smoked a Flying Pig didn't like it, and I usually love the Undercrown, the, just the Maduro Flying Pig. I smoked the Hoya Connecticut, and I smoked an Undercrown Sun Grown. None, nothing. I haven't liked any of it, and I, and like I'm not. It just tastes like smoke to me right now. I totally uh-huh. think my palate just went off. Yeah, that's the, that's a bad part. I mean, because I was listening to an interview with uh, Nicholas Melillo, and he says like your mouth can taste like five different or six different, I forgot what the number is, but your nose, I don't know if you retrohale, but your nose has like millions of receptors. So like if yeah, you can't been, smell. You yeah, can't. I retrohale. I, you know what? I have a problem. I retrohale almost every puff. Me too. Me too. Yeah. It just um, tastes better. But even that, man, I just, there's not a lot of taste in any of the tobacco that I've had lately. And I know, and there are all cigars that I like. So I know it's not the cigar. I think it's just me. So it's either the, you know, the diet or, you know, something else, but I'm hoping it shifts back soon. Yeah, I figured with you, like, on the diet that maybe um, your palate would improve is what I was thinking you were going to say. Dude, you would think that, right? I would thought everything would have been sharper. My body wouldn't, you know, not drinking as much beer, not eating as much bread and shit. You'd think your body would be a little cleaner. Yeah, I, I just brushed my teeth. And uh, I'm smoking a warped uh, sky flower, and it's um, it's kind of bitter. So really? I'm hoping, yeah, I'm hoping. That might uh, be your toothpaste or something. Yeah, I use a cinnamon kind. I'm, I might need to just get away from the cinnamon toothpaste, the crest cinnamon. You have cinnamon toothpaste? Yeah, I like the way it tastes. Who has cinnamon toothpaste? It's like Fireball. Oh my goodness! Dude, you gotta get the charcoal. That's what I use. The charcoal, you would use that. You, s- you know, it's, it's fucking better. cold in Wisconsin, anyways. It's fucking cold. Dude, did you know it's going to be eight degrees on Tuesday? Eight degrees. 
Yeah, at least I have off. Oh, that's good. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, the charcoal toothpaste that cleans your palate out. You're, you'll get more flavor out of your cigars that way. You heard it here first. I'm going to try that. Yeah. I actually bought a, uh, I forget who makes them. I have tr- uh, charcoal toothbrushes too. They're like, they're these black tr- toothbrushes that are made with charcoal. Oh, you fancy. They were on sale. They were like $3 for two. I'm about I'm about to try to add Drew on my phone. And I'm not sure if that's going to screw this up because I'm on my computer with Skype. So just a heads up. Oh, no. He's sending us something on there. Nope, didn't work. So what was what were your analogies tonight? Oh, I didn't give it. An, you want to do it now? Yeah, let's okay, get, we, so got a, best, we got him on the best. pod. I love it. Hold on one second. All right. <clears throat> Analogy. You guys ready? Yes, yeah, sir. If jellyfish were cigars, what cigar would they be? Ooh. Um, Tyler, you want to feel that first? Okay. When I think of jellyfish, fish, I think of somebody pissing on me when I get stung. Um, so Opus X. Oh, oh yeah, because it smells like uh, the foot. You got to once it doesn't smell like piss, then you know it's good to smoke. Um, no jellyfish, something that is uh, versatile, something that is, um, you know. Um, I'm going with Charter Oak, man. Give me a Charter Oak, Connecticut. I'm, that's what I think of. It's got, it's got the piss. You know, it's light colored. <laughs> oh my god! And uh, and uh, it's versatile. You know that that Charter Oak Rothschild. It's you know 550 for a Rothschild. You could smoke it in the morning. They got the Maduro. You can smoke at night. It's 550. It's got a close foot, made by AJ Fernandez, blended by Nick Melillo. It's versatile and it's um it's a good cigar. Uh, Charter Oak Foundation, jellyfish. Well, in, I went I went a completely different direction. I so I I was started thinking about SpongeBob how they would make the jellyfish jelly, you know. Nice. So I'm thinking like what sweet sweet Jane came was the first thing that came to my head. You know I feel like a jellyfish would be an infused cigar or a sweetened tip cigar mm-hmm. or something. Isn't that a song by um that one band? Diary, no, Jane di- diary of Jane. In the Diary of Jane. Who is that? I don't know. I think of Jane's Addiction, though. Jane says. Oh, yeah. Who sings that? Jane's Addiction. What's the song? Uh, Wait, my song or the song Dom was talking about? No, the song you were singing, Tyler. I know that song. Yeah, Jane's Addiction. Uh, Jane Says, I think, probably is what it's called. Everything, okay. Every song has to do with Jane. I forgot the other. What's the other song they had, Dom? The uh, I don't know. Uh, you don't know Jane's Addiction, Breaking, bro? Breaking Benjamin, the Diary of Jane. Oh, that's what I was thinking of. When you say Breaking Benjamin, I think of uh, Stacy's mom by whatever that band is. What? Stacy's mom oh. has got it going on. I don't know why I thought of that. That's a weird, weird brain connection there. Um. Anyway, so with uh, jellyfish, I think of factory. Rejects. Is that what they call them? What? Why? Because, dude, jellyfish have no eyes. There's naked blobs, and factory rejects are just these cigars with no bands. They're aliens. I guess. I'm not following you, man. Yeah, we're, we're not picking up what you're putting down over Have there. you, okay, well, I, do you guys go to, like, aquariums at all? No. No, I've been, I've oh. been to aquariums, but I don't. I don't go there. So I'm kind of close to the Monterey Bay Aquarium. It's a pretty decent one. Uh, not that I really, I don't think I've been to a second one to compare it to. Uh, but jellyfish, they're so cool. But then you're staring at them for a while and you're like, okay, this is a living thing with no eyeballs. What's it doing? It's just, fl- it's, I got, it's flown yeah. there, lined up. So wait, why, the fa- oh, the fact that they don't have bands, so they don't have eyes. I mean, I want to say it's like a, yeah, that's that's my my main thing. Yes, guys, we missed the most important aspect of this man of war. Oh, that's a type of jellyfish. Dang. Man of war oh, by AJ. Take it to the next level. That's a good one. Yeah, 
Boom. There's levels to this shit. Dude, I got stunned by one of those. How many dudes peed on you? <laughs> Dude, nobody was there to pee on me. It was on a on a beach in Florida. It was the weirdest pain I've ever had. It was just like a very, very bad itch. Like it was the itchiest thing I ever felt. It itched so bad that it was extremely painful. It is so bad it was it burned, if that makes any sense. It sounds like the clap, man. Oh, yeah, on the on the bottom of your foot, you know? <laughs> Hey, dude. <laughs> uh, Tyler, you see that Instagram account we're following? The feet one? Dude, what? Stop with. Please stop. She no fetish. Cigars. What fetish? There's pictures of her feet. It's a part of the human body. It's not nudity. What's the problem? Wait, a foot fetish cigar Instagram account? You bet. That's a new market that's on. That market's untapped, bro. That's what I'm saying. I got to get in on that. Bro, I don't stop following weird because I feel like you use our Instagram to follow these um <laughs> accounts that you don't feel like you should be following with your personal account. So I get lumped in. I get lumped in with the um uh, obsession with um Instagram cigar models that you have. Lumped in. I get lumped into it. Yeah. Okay. Well, you're the one. Okay. So have you completely stopped posting? On your one puff review Instagram. Yeah, you told me not to do that. You told me just do the one puff on my yeah, okay. Instagram. Okay. I just had to know because I, I wasn't liking it on your own Instagram. I was only liking it on the one puff review. But if you're not posting there anymore, then I will like them on yours. Like them on both, yeah. No, I, I don't like seeing the same <laughs> thing, same content multiple times. It's like when I, when you click on Instagram stories, mm-hmm. I don't like reposts. Dude, it. I will say it's yeah. boring, but I did a Blackbird cigar review, and they posted it on their Instagram. Oh, I thought cool. that was pretty cool. No, it's definitely cool. Um, if you're the person who got tagged, but if you're watching it, it's not cool. Yeah. Like Tatsawai, they posted a video I did when we got to Monsters, but then there was 50 other. I mean, it's cool if you're the guy who got tagged, but going through their story just to see other pictures, it's not um, um, it's not ideal. But it's cool, you know, that you can reach out to a bunch of different people by adding stuff to your story. True. But I, do I – do I? I just click through them if they're all reposts. Yeah. I don't know if you guys do the same thing if you look at them. I just click, click, click. I wish there was more interaction with the stories because if you comment on them it sends you a dm which is kind of weird no that's what i like the questions or the um quizzes or whatnot those are cool yeah but then but then it's sent like a dm and it's just it's just weird it's not weird different. it's communication you gotta stop getting so defensive with stuff man and uh michael i got a new mic i'm gonna stand punch you in the I'm face oh nice dude yeah your audio sounds really good I'm coming in oh thank you man i appreciate that now, if you can just carry a microphone with you, I got to get you your microphone. Michael has this yeah. really nice mic that's sitting in my bedroom in a basket with clothes in it, so it's nice and protected. But it's not compatible with Skype. It's like a $400 mic, but I can't use it. So yeah, I gotta... that was stuck, dude. I, I'm really bummed out about that. I'm wondering if it'll work on my phone with Skype. Maybe. But we should – I see a lot of people are – like, I wonder if we ever did this, like, live – like on Zoom or something, like what Coop does and what um, also Fumar. It'd be kind of cool. Or how about that cigar? They do it live on Zoom. But I think it's... You know how about that cigar? Yeah, I, I watched them. Oh, that's cool, dude. That's one of my friends in Minnesota. Matt Ty and uh, another dude. Yeah, Matt Ty's a good guy. Did you guys... he's, man, he's got, a, he's got a radio voice, man, unlike me. Yeah. No, he, I, he knows what he's doing. I have a face for radio and a voice for um nothing. <laughs> I want to say all that now. <laughs> well, I told you I um we were brainstorming cigar names at at my my full time job, and one guy came up with the Humidorables. Just two oh, cuties, like just two cuties talking about cigars, and then he's like, "Well, they wouldn't <laughs> know what you look like, so they wouldn't know you're not a cutie." I'm like. Thanks, guys. Perfect. Thank you. I appreciate <laughs> human adorables. I love it. That's awesome. And then his idea for a hookah shop is hookah brother up. 
That's what he would name I'd, it. Go brother up. I'd go there. These are all terrible. So, you're terrible. Yeah. I still like Viso Horny. <laughs> <laughs> Who came up with that shit? Me. I love that, dude. Wait, I'm so the, the name of the podcast? Yeah, Viso Horny. Well, dude, put that, well, we'll put that as a tab on Stogie Journal. We should, yeah. I need to... Um, I got... I got a lot of ideas of this big melon of mine. <laughs> oh, Dom hates Viso horny. I think it's fucking hilarious because Viso is a priming on a tobacco plant. <laughs> yeah. yeah, that's awesome, dude. I love it. That's for Dom because Dom knows nothing about cigars because he doesn't smoke any I, cigars. I'll have you know. Hold, hold on. Stay there. Anyways, Michael, you gotta. I don't know. You gotta meet Dom at the the trade show this year when you come. Yeah, dude. Well, we got. I gotta get down there, and uh, we'll definitely meet him. Were you at the Roma Craft party? Yeah, dude. I saw you there. We talked to each other. Oh, then you met Dom there. Then Dom was at me and Dom hung out. Um, he, Dom wouldn't leave me alone. So yeah, you probably I don't think we, we hung met out. Him. I was kind of. I had my spot, and then you were there all of a sudden. No, me and Ted were there, and then you were all of a sudden there. Huh. That's not how I remember. Oh. Yeah. I guess I did. I probably did meet Dom. Dude, that was the smokiest room I've ever been in. Honestly, yeah. I felt like I was in the 1920s. Oh, man. No, dude, that, was, that was worse in the 1920s. <laughs> so you got... Like, oh. So, Tyler. You breathe out there. Your fucking smoke would sit in your face. Tyler, you say idea. I don't know anything about tobacco. I'm not defensive. It's okay. Um, but I, I worked an event in San Francisco last night at the Fairmont mm-hmm. Hotel. And uh, nice event. Great view. Beautiful view. But this is the um, the picture poster thing that I put up. I'm trying to fix the glare for you. Uh, I talk about tobacco, cigars. Oh, it's probably in reverse for you. Or is it not? No, that's cool. Yeah, and I got the. Oh, uh, Michael can't see it, but it's it's a plant. It's got the anatomy of the hair. I can get the video. Hold on. No, it's I'm it's just... fine. He's already putting it away, but gotcha. he did get defensive because he got his face way up to the camera and he looked at me in the eyes and said, "I'm not defensive." And but he was clearly telling me that he was based on his uh, facial expression and how close he got to the camera. I'm glad you read into it. Wait, damn, Tom, who put the event for? Uh, the cigar guys. Oh, that's what I—that's what I was thinking. Yeah, that's cool, man. I like them. Yep, it's a, it's a sweet gig, pretty fun stuff. Tell them if they want somebody who knows about cigars, fly me out there, and I will. Uh... It's not. Gosh, you said that last time. Tyler, Tyler, they do it out here too. Yes. You know Michael Swan? Yeah. He does events for them. I'm starting my own. I'll show these guys how it's done. There you go, dude. Give me in go. a room. With 20 dudes, and let me do my thing. That sounds weird. Um, I was about to say, and a jar of lube. <laughs> no, let me do my thing with 20 dudes. Uh, never mind. Man, uh, this is a. Uh, I can't tell the story on the air. I'll have to say it some another time. But um, you say it like I, I think I can't you, edit. But maybe it's because you don't trust me editing it, it out. Well, it sounds like. Um, you have a busy day planned. I mean, you got your you got your jogging pants on already. And uh, did you see that? <laughs> once, I stood up, dude. once, once those drawstrings close, it's done. I forgot what movie that was. Um, this guy was in a uh, Jason Bateman was married to Tina Fey, and once she would have the jogging pants on, he wasn't getting any action, and he couldn't jerk off in the main bathroom because she would hear. And then, but if he went down to the, the basement bathroom, then she would know he was jerking off because why would he use that bathroom? <laughs> yeah, that that's funny. a predicament. Uh, it, uh, I think it's called Extract. Mike Judd. Oh, movie. yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. Wait, no. Yeah, yeah that movie. That, I think that's right. And then she yeah. starts banging the pool guy. <laughs> All right. Um, Where are we right now? Well, uh, I don't know how long I've hour- been recording, actually. So I have, no, uh, my, my mom texted me. She said for uh, Christmas break, 
when I come in. They have uh, two guys up where they live who smoke cigars as well. Uh, and she said they're going to bring the alcohol. Uh, and she said I could bring the cigars. And I'm just like, all right, what do, what do they like? One guy is about Maduro cigars. And the other one, he's a veteran. He smokes about anything. So Maduro cigars, personally, my top two, the Sereno Maduro XX. Okay. Uh, and then the Maduro by, was it? Uh, the El Baracho Maduro. Dapper. By Dapper, yes. Do you guys have any Maduros that stand out to you? Um, I'll go first. The um, uh, Neanderthal by Roma Craft. That's a Maduro? Uh, yeah, it's a San Andreas Maduro. Oh, my goodness. Um, the uh, Tatawahe uh, J21 Reserva. That's Connecticut Broadleaf. Um, the Wise Man Maduro is a San Andreas, Mexican San Andreas. Mm -hmm. The Tabernacle is a Connecticut Broadleaf. Um, the Tricky Traca is a Connecticut Broadleaf as well. That's a good Maduro. Um, I feel like I'm missing a shit ton. Um, but that's all I can think of right now that I like. Michael, any Maduros you like? Did you name the shit ton of them? Um <laughs> No, the one one that like just always crosses my mind is the Undercrown uh, Maduro. The Undercrown Corona Viva was like my go-to cigar for the longest time. I would buy it by the box. I I think I probably bought ten boxes of that cigar. Nice. Oh, I got a funny story. So like at the air, not a funny story, but speaking of like your mom talking about cigars is my mom would always. So we both work at the airport and uh, she's always like, Oh, this person likes cigars, bring them cigars. So I'm always getting hit. Like I'm a cigar guy at the airport. Everybody's asking me for cigars and blah, blah, blah. But we got a new station manager who came up from Denver and he's a, uh, used to be a, a cop. And I asked him like, Oh, so, you know, I, I know a lot of cops who smoke cigars. Do you smoke cigars? He's like, yeah, I smoke a lot of cigars. And, and then he's like, I'm like, well, what do you smoke? He's like, you got those Maker Mark cigars? I'm like, yeah, we got those. And he tries to give me the money for them. I'm like, no, no, I can't take it. He's like, he's like, no, you're taking the money. I'm like, no, I'm going to buy them for you. So I go grab them, and uh, I bring them to him. I bring him a nice foundation cutter. He tries to pay me again. I'm like, no, 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 no. This is a Christmas gift. So, And this is like the first time we met. So now every time he comes, he always gives me a big pat on the back. So I feel like I have a hall pass at – um at work now because I got the owner or the manager, the head guy, some cigars. So, Hey, that's, that's a good icebreaker. You got a new manager, new supervisor at work, bring him some stogies, man. I could, you know, no call, no show 10 times in a row. And I probably keep my job now. Yeah. That's not a bad idea at all. I do that with Matt at the Lake country. I give him cigars all the time. Stay on his good side. That's a good idea. The one thing I'll say though is, uh, from experience with my parents and whatnot, when someone tries to pace it for something and they say, no, 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 I've got it. And then, no, 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 I insist. No, 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 I've got it. No, no, let me pay. And it just goes back and forth and back and forth. I guess yeah. you got to cut it. I think it's there the and back and there is the max. Exactly. That's it. Yeah. But this was different. I wasn't going to, I wasn't going to accept his money. You know, it's like, I want I seriously I gave him three of them I'm like I want you to have these they're like thirteen dollar cigars but I'm like I want you know I I wanted you know plus I get a discount but <laughs> I just wanted to I wanted to get those points it, yeah exactly Wait, and what was I gonna huh those Maker Mark cigars are thirteen dollars a piece yeah they come in a real nice and actually. I, I know that Maker's Mark is suing Ted Cigars who make them because of the wax seal. So I don't know what happened, but they, I think they used Maker Mark bourbon to infuse them. But Maker Mark is no longer really like, it's not branded as that anymore, even though it has the wax seal. So they got some kind of lawsuit going on. No shit. Mm -hmm. that, That's interesting. That would suck to be making cigars and have to deal with stuff like that. Well, we were talking about if uh, Michael brought me a um, 
So like Lake Country cigars are are um, a lot of people call it LCC. Hey, you meeting the LCC tonight? Uh, he gives me a um, Viva La Vida just uh, uh, Lancero and it has LCC on it, uh, which is what Luxury Cigar Club. Yep, that's um. So it's like, now if we come out, if we ever come out with a cigar and it, and can we put LCC on there? We're we gonna get sued. Is this something I gotta look up and try to trademark LCC? You know, I dude, I would trade. I trademark it right away. Yeah, I should. Or match. You should, should see if it's trade. You should see if it's trademarked yet. Well, I don't know though because, so it's actually trademarking something like that can be more of a problem than it is a help. You got to look up and see what the thing is, and it can be really expensive to trademark something. I don't know. I don't know like the whole legality of it, but um, that company is is getting a. Is getting pretty big though, so who knows what they're gonna do? Yeah, we might have to put a number behind it or something. I don't know. Or if they do, you know, just do it. Do whatever they do before them. At the worst, you know, the worst thing that's gonna happen is you could sell it to them. Yeah. Oh, we didn't. Uh, I didn't know. I couldn't do that. That always works. Yeah, that's true. You know. Well, now you know. Yeah. Yeah. Easier to ask for forgiveness and permission. Exactly. Well, now I know, because so, that's my super short show. <laughs> that shit comes into my head all the time. Thank you. What is it? It's from... Uh, it's a Disney thing. Yeah. Oh, yeah, I forgot you two are the same age. I feel like a, I feel like a fucking... Um, dinosaur? Old, yeah, it's... Well, I was listening to Barstool, uh, pardon my take, and they were talking about boomers, and... Uh, so Big Cat and PFT, they have someone who, a producer, was a little bit younger. And the guy was calling him, calling Big Cat and PFT um, boomers. And they're like 34 years old. And he's like, he's, and then PFT's like, well, he's like, I am a boomer, but that'd be millennial of me to say that. So in return, I'm actually a millennial, because, but I'm a boomer. It was pretty fucking funny. <laughs> What did they mean, baby boomer? Yeah, <laughs> I mean the guy was somebody, joking. Oh wait, somebody that's thirty-four wouldn't be a baby boomer, no? I think that's part of the joke. I think. Oh, gotcha. Okay, I missed that. You know, because it's like, <laughs> it's like at work. It's like, uh, everybody's obsessed with age. You're like, oh, you are so old. I'm like, bro, I'm fifteen months older than you, but they act like I'm ten years older than them. All right. You know, they make a big deal about age. You know, so it's like. Oh yeah. These fucking guys. Would you guys see that cat go on the field on Friday, uh, Monday Night Football? Yep. Dude, that cat was so adorable. Oh, cowboys. Hot boys. You know what? Like, when people say, like, dumb shit, like, oh, that cat was in the end zone more than the Jets were. I hate I hate shit like that, bro. <laughs> bro, bro. Dude, I wish we were cool enough to be invited to La Zona Palooza in uh, Florida. That looks like a hell of a time. I couldn't have gone if I was invited, so. What is it? It's a uh, Eric Espinosa. They throw an event. You got to be invited to it. But you have to support. You have to be like a big Espinosa supporter. And uh, Dude, I need... it just looks like a really good time. I want to get oh. more of um, Espinosa. They still make um, the uh, Server Robert Peels, correct? By yeah, protocol. yeah, protocol. I think AJ makes that for protocol. Juan and Bill Ives. Juan can Juan can sell and Bill Ives. So are they connected? We gotta with, get Juan on the podcast. Are they connected with Espinoza or not? Yeah, because uh, the the regular stuff is made by okay. Espinoza, blended by Hector Alfonso. Because I just had the one from the the show, and that was probably my favorite cigar from the show so far this year. We should get Juan on the pod then. Juan's a, a fucking character. Juan on the pod. And oh, what if we do a double? We'll get him and Schmokini because I saw them in a picture together. Just <laughs> please unfollow the foot fetish. No, Instagram. it's the best, the greatest. <laughs> I'm gonna. Oh, I saw it and I'm like, what is this? Yeah, you saw you didn't like, say anything until I, I brought was at it up. Work. That's what I'm talking I was about. at work and I'm like, I had to like hide my phone. I'm like, what is this? Yeah, you oh, did. I, oh, I didn't know what it was. I'm like, fucking classic Dom. Hey. Wherever you are, if you want to see what we're talking about, the account is I am H I S. I'm his? 
I've never even read this. Um, and L I L I T H. So I'm his Lilith. It's a bunch of feet and cigars here and there. How did you find this? Let's get her on the podcast. Don't don't question it. Wait, how do you spell it? One more time for the audience members. I M H I S L I L I T H. That was way. I'm not going to look it up. That was way too fast. Oh my goodness. I know. Are you smarter than a fifth grader? No, I am not. She's got like okay, all around the book. She's got. Feet with cigars, feet with mirrors, feet with the game of chess. Is chess a game? I don't know. Great conversation there. Feet with a watch on it. Dang, look at that timepiece. Those, dude, she has nails. Like, you know, people who grow out their fingernails, she grew out her nails on her toes. Oh, that's. This is, this is taking a weird turn. <laughs> oh, so, uh, what do you call those? Tights? Spent tight tights on or off. Feet with You're creepy. Another dude, look at this, you see she puts a watch on her feet. Oh my god. That's, yeah, that's, that's good. Oh man. Feet with a cat. Ooh. Read into, Ooh, I'm a big cat person. Are you do you read into the uh symbolism in the uh double entendres there? I don't know, man. Don't don't envy him. How would you? F I guess. A feet in a witch's broom. Oh, that's getting weird. Anyway, solid follow. Mikey, you're still on, <laughs> still on the show. I'm, I'm still here. Oh. I'm gonna bounce out of here in a second, though, guys. I'm uh, I'm just getting home. I gotta do a couple things. All good. We gotta dip too. It's been too long. I've gotta edit this monstrosity of a show. Yeah. Go for well, it. Let me know. Let me know when it, uh, when you guys go, uh, when you air it, and then we'll get you a tab set up on StokeyJournal.com where people can go right on our site and look at your uh, and download the episode, or at least link to it. Sick. That would be sick. Yeah, we'll get it all set up. Just uh, you know, send me a link with everything, and I'll put it through. Uh, we'll have our people get in touch with your people, and we will uh, we'll get this we'll get the ball rolling, as they say in the in the biz, you know. Sounds good. I got a guy that's close to you guys, anyway, so I'm sure that he'll be you know he'll be in contact soon. That sounds good. All right, man. Thank you for picking up on us. <laughs> yeah, no worries, guys. You have a good night. Friday night. Yeah, you Same too, man. Our first live calling. Thank you. Oh, perfect. Take it easy. Rock and roll. Long time listener, first time caller. <laughs> that was awesome. All right. That was cool, bro. That worked. Isn't that awesome? We should just do that. Just randomly call people. I mean, we should save that for like a... I want to try it sometime, and I can just edit it out if it doesn't work, I guess. Yeah, definitely. So are we going to get anybody... I want to do an interview, Dom. Dude, no, You're no. good I, at interviews. Yeah, no, I want to get... I'm not good at interviews. I yeah, asked, you, you do it at the trade show. Yeah, and have you watched those? I ask, what do you have new at the show this year? And then that's about it. I want to be smoking a nice Kruger. Nice. Um, I'm going to, I'm going to, you want to close the show out? Yeah, you got a lot of editing to do, my man. Yeah, I'm going to, I'm going to cut it off so I don't have to listen to any extra. All right. All right. This has been the Cigar Noise Boys. Saturdays are for the boys. You heard it here first. Rock and roll. Yeah!